Right, happy? Yep. Oh, it's recording. I look like one of those babies. I have no idea if I'm in focus right now. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a chit chat get ready with me. I asked on my Instagram for some topics and I think only about four of you um, commented some, but I'm really grateful for you four. So I'm going to be chatting about those topics. I'm going to be chatting about those topics and if I finish early, I'll just think of some, some of my own. So I'm going to start by moisturising with my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturiser, which is the best moisturiser I've ever found. And it was recommended in Millie Ray's video. So thank you, Millie Ray, for recommending this because it has made my life so much better. One of my favourite people on YouTube, Eleanor Bloomfield, commented, um, what are my favourite songs? So while I'm moisturising, I'm just gonna play a couple of songs for you all um, that I'm really enjoying at the minute. I did post a Oh wait, maybe I won't while I'm moisturising it. I'll do it while I'm putting my concealer on. But I did film a get lit with me kind of... Well, it wasn't really a get lit with me. It was kind of like my current playlist. I filmed one of those videos. Um, so you should go check that out if you're wondering what my music taste is like. I know it's only been like two days, but I know that this summer I'm going to discover so much more music because I got Spotify Premium for 99p and I'm going to listen to it on holiday 24-7. So while I put my concealer on, actually I'm going to need to wet my beauty blender first, but while I put my concealer on, I'll just be talking about my favourite songs at the minute. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm just going to put my hand here and check. <laughs> If it's in focus, I think it is. I just moved the camera now. Great! I'm going to be using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, which you've probably all heard of. It's just amazing. I definitely recommend buying it because it's not pricey at all. And it really does a good job. So I'm going to be playing my first song, which is Lost in Japan by Shawn Mendes. I'm a couple hundred miles from Japan and It's official, I put way too much concealer on. Pardon? I just wanna be around. Text from number one. <gasps> no, that's so no. cute! Do you know why that's good though? I just wanna be pure. I need to no, move on. Strangers. This is the artist of summers. I don't think you're ready for this. Oh my gosh, I love this song so much. I better stop playing these songs because I'll get way too carried away and I won't speak for the whole video. Eleanor also asked which countries I'd like to visit and while I'm doing my eyebrows, I'll answer that. So I'm just going to be using this end of my brush and using my Revolution Soap X palette, which my friend kindly got for me. So thank you, Mari, for getting me this amazing palette. It's definitely my favourite one that I own. Um, can't open it though. It's just so beautiful. I use it for my eyebrows and my eyeshadow as well. So I'll be using it both for both of them today. I really love this eyebrow. Like I really, really like it. Is that a weird thing to say? Probably is. But I just love the shape of this eyebrow. I just wish this eyebrow looked the same. It's so gappy and horrible. Like oh I hate it I've never actually done anything to my eyebrows like I've never gone and got them waxed or threaded or anything I don't know if I need to now I've got fringe I don't think if it's some it's something that I need to like go and do I don't think I need, really need to look after them as much as I used to so I'd love to visit America it's just an amazing country it's so big so much to, like adventure and like everyone's been there apart from me I just need to go the reason why I haven't been yet is because one, it's going to be expensive to fly over there and also my sister's scared of planes so that means that my family are basically stuck in Europe for the time being. I'd love to go to LA or somewhere or like, I don't know if I'd want to go to New York because I'm not too good with like big cities, um, I just like, um, I just really don't like going in busy places like that or if I don't think I'd really like going to Dubai or anything because I just I just hate crowds and big cities and loud noises. I prefer to go somewhere a bit calmer with a beach or something. But yes, I'd love to go to America. Like it's one of things on my bucket list to do. Maybe I like I could go with friends from university or something. I mean I'm really thinking ahead now but 
I just really want to go to America before I really get a job and get my life together. I'd like to go then and I'd like to go to Australia too. Um, but that's quite far off so I don't know if that's ever going to happen but Australia would just be amazing. So Leia, who you might know because she's also a small YouTuber, commented goals for 2018 and 20, we're like over halfway in 2018 so I don't necessarily have any goals but I do have some for summer. I really wanted to go for a run every single day this holiday but it's now July the 14th which is the second day of my summer holiday and I went for a run yesterday for an hour and a half. Like that basically like controlled my whole day. I went for an hour and a half run. I've never done that in my life. I don't think I've ever gone on a run for, in my life. So that was new, but I was like, yesterday I was like, yes, I'm gonna do this every single day of the holidays. And then I woke up this morning and my legs were killing me. I didn't even know that when you went for a run, your legs could hurt the next day, but apparently mine do. So I haven't gone on a run today. I did go on a walk to buy some avocado. I really need to start getting healthier. So I'm trying to eat healthier too. And yeah, so that's kind of my goal to be a healthier person and also be more productive. I'm going to try and catch up on my work this holiday because um, I might go through my mocks result with you. Uh, whatever. I'll just tell you my mock results now. So some of them were quite good and some of them were like not that good. Um, so that's why I'm trying to do some work this holiday to get them up to a good standard. My first mock that I'll share with you is my history. And history is the one that I'm most disappointed with. So I got a five um, and my target level's an eight. So that's quite far off. And also I thought I did really well. I thought it was such a good test. And then when I got it back, I just felt so disappointed because um, I got lower than quite a lot of other people in my class. So I got a five in history, which I'm really sad with. Also, I want to do history for an A-level. Like, I know it's a really hard A-level from what I've heard, and there's a lot of content, but I think it'll just be a really f enjoyable A-level. Like, I just love history so much. It's one of my favourite subjects, and I'd be gutted to drop it after GCSE. I got a 5 in biology as well, which I was kind of expecting, although I did a lot of revision. I've n never been very good at biology, and although it's my favourite science, I just don't see me taking it as an A-level. So I'm not too sad about the 5, um, but hopefully in GCSE I'll do a little bit better than that. And then I got a 6 in my chemistry, which I am actually really, really happy with because I've never gotten very good in chemistry and I was expecting it to be a bit less than biology because chemistry is probably my one of my least favourite subjects. So I was like really, really happy with a 6. I wouldn't mind getting a 6 at GCSE. I mean, I quite like a 7 or above in most things, but... I could deal with the six for chemistry like I was actually quite happy when I got that result back I also got a six in English literature and uh, that was okay I got us basically we did two essays for the test so we did an essay on a book called Jekyll and Hyde and we did a, we also did an essay on a play called An Inspector Calls and I got a seven in my Jekyll and Hyde essay um, which I was so happy with because I thought I would like do really badly in that but it turned out okay so that's good but then I got a low six in the inspector calls essay which brought my whole grade down to a six um so yeah I got six in English literature I mean not too bad I I like I've never been that good at English literature and I've got sixes all year so far so then when I got a six at the end of the year it wasn't like wow you know, I, I was expecting it, so that's fine. I got a 7 in English language. I was so happy with this because I think I might take it for an A-level. And I actually really enjoyed the exam, which is kind of weird to say because you don't tend to hear people say that they enjoyed exams. Um, but I thought it was a really enjoyable exam and I really like English language and I hope to do it for A-level maybe. I'm not sure yet though because I, I don't know what I'm going to take for A-level. Like, I don't know. I also got a 7 in drama, which I'm quite happy with, but I mean, I think it was quite low compared to most people, because I know a lot of people got 8 and I got a 7, but you know, I'm not complaining because I did start drama in November and 
most people started in September obviously so I was behind everyone at the start and I'm quite proud about how far I've come in drama because um, I started knowing nothing and I started really late so that's good I'm happy with a seven I also got a seven in French and I got a seven in Spanish um, which I'm really happy with because I uh, um, ugh, can't talk languages is something that I really enjoy and I think that when I'm older I might pursue a job in languages because I just love languages I mean that's quite different because lots and lots and lots of people hate languages but I really like them and um, so I was happy that I got sevens in them and then um, lastly I think I got a seven in maths which is like so good I didn't know I was gonna get a seven but I'm not really too bothered about maths. Obviously, obviously, I have to pass maths to carry on in A-levels and things. But um, it's not something that I want to do when I'm older. I was quite surprised, really, that I got a 7. Um, yeah, so those are my results. I kind of went off topic there because the question was, what are your goals for 2018? Um, but yeah, basically to work hard and be, be productive and just have a good life. That's getting really deep now. Let's go on to the next question. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm like concealing my eyebrows. So my friend Elisa commented that I should talk about her. Elisa's my, one of my best friends. Yeah. Um, she was in my video a couple of weeks ago. If you want to go check that out, Sophia was in it as well. We had a lot of fun filming that. That was one of my favorite videos on my channel. So, hey, it's Georgia, commented um, YouTube and school. So I'm guessing she wants me to talk about YouTube and school. I've already talked a lot about school, so I'll talk about YouTube. Um, so I don't know if many of you know, but I did have an old channel called Lottie Bon, um, but then I changed to this channel. I got 1,200 subscribers. But then I realised that I wasn't getting that many views on the videos, so a lot of my subscribers were actually inactive, um, which I didn't realise um, for a while, but then when I did I was a bit like, well there's not much point having all these subscribers if not many of them are active. So then I made this account, and I think quite a lot of the subscribers on this account are active and watch my videos, which I'm so happy, thank you guys. Something I'm really getting into is editing. like. I feel more motivated at the minute to edit than to film because when I film I'm just a bit awkward aren't I but when I edit I'm just I, could just, I love it so much I love experimenting with new softwares and green screens I just I'm just really getting into it so if you have any video ideas please comment them down below because I'm a bit stuck for ideas at the minute um, I don't really know what theme this channel is going to have or if it's even because all of the videos are a bit random at the minute this camera seeps keeps stopping recording because I'm talking for too long and it stops after like 12 minutes. Okay, I think my eyebrows are done. They look a bit weird, but we'll go with it. So next I'm going to do my eyeshadow with this same palette. I'm not really sure what look I'm going to do. Probably not something too harsh because it's very, very hot here in the UK. I don't really like wearing a very extravagant look because it's just too much to deal with with the sun you know I like never tan I've actually gone to use this tinted moisturizer to make it look like I've tanned because I actually physically can't tan myself I just burn oh yeah I'm just going in with I've already done the base coat without saying Um, I use this shade called pancakes the second one here um, it's like the same colour as my skin, I usually just use it as like a base. And now I'm using the smoky bronze here um, to just put in my crease. I usually use these two colours. I haven't really experimented that much with this palette yet. Um, I hope to do it when it gets a bit warmer. I just don't really like wearing lots and lots and lots of makeup when the weather's like this. I don't know why I've actually said but I'm not actually getting ready for anything. Because I don't, I'm not actually going out of the house today. I've been for a walk but I don't think I'm gonna do much more so I'll probably just be going on my phone you know I don't really know why I'm putting makeup on but I guess it's something to do when I'm chatting to you guys so YouTube um she said to talk about YouTube so I'll just talk about my favorite youtubers at the minute so I've been watching the Ingham family every single day and um, the Bloomfields I know they watch them so I've been watching the Ingham family as 
like they recommended them and oh my gosh they're so cute the kids are so cute ah, they're just adorable also i've been watching family fizz and um, they recently had a baby oh my gosh their baby's so cute um i also watch click for taz um you probably haven't heard of her because she only she doesn't have a million subscribers or anything but her videos are actually amazing like she deserves so much more recognition she does videos like pound a day so you, she eats like three meals that all cost a pound altogether and she somehow makes the most amazing meals with just a pound which is pretty cool and also i've been watching shane dawson conspiracy theories um they're like quite creepy so when I watched one the other day before bed I was ki I kind of regretted it but you know they're still like really really good and interesting I'm really like enjoying these like conspiracy theory things like kind of obsessed because I've watched about 10 already today as for small youtubers I really like the Bloomfields like I've watched them every day for so so long like they're so good I also like Abby May, which you might have heard of. She like does makeup videos and hauls and things like that. So I like watching her. I also like Heather Elise. Um, she's so kind and also she's always so productive and does so much in her day, which really motivates me to be productive as well. And also, like last week, I loved, I loved editing the leukemia video so 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 much I really want to do more videos like that because I feel like that's what YouTube should be all about um, like I think that people should use their following to raise an like, important awareness um, like the lemons for leukemia challenge I don't know any other challenges that are a bit like that but I'd love to try more of those challenges um, so what am I gonna do next I think Hmm, I don't know. I think I'm going to be using this contour collection contour kit here. It's quite simple. I saw it was so cheap because I got it like in the Christmas sale. I don't even have a contour brush, so I like squeeze my powder brush like that. Oh, I also really like Perks of Law. I forgot to say that, but um, I've watched like literally all of her videos. They are amazing. Um, I also like Lydia Violetta. I do really like filming studying videos but I know that not everyone that watches my channel likes to watch them so I should probably think of something else to film because that's like all I film. Forehead sweating. This weather is because I shut the window because of all the background noise and also because there's a guy in his garden. I didn't want him to hear me filming. I really need to get a camera. I use my sister's camera for everything and I don't think she's too impressed about that. Um, I don't really have any money to spend so I'm going to have to get one at Christmas. This contour looks really weird on camera but I promise it's like blended in real life. I'm going to be using this natural collection um, like kind of glittery highlight that was very cheap like all my makeup's really cheap so I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender again to blend that out and maybe try on this forehead stuff because it looks so dark on camera. But weird that I'm already excited for prom next year. Like I'm literally gonna buy my dress like so soon. I, I just get excited for things like this. Just a shame I can't do makeup because I'm gonna look ugly but it's fine. I don't know what kind of dress I'll get. I have no idea what colour. I mean I quite like a light blue but lots of people lots of people want a light blue oh my gosh my legs still ache from my run lots of people want a light blue and uh, i don't want to be the same as everyone else i mean i don't want to be like in trousers i'm obviously gonna wear a dress but i don't know i don't know what color i want maybe dark red um that sounds weird when i say it but i feel like on a dress it would look nice like this one or this one or this one I haven't even found those pictures yet. I'll find them when I'm editing. This is quite a bronzy look, I feel like. I think I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight on my finger. Just from the same collection thing. I'll put it here. My brow bone. I literally don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day today. Like, I have nothing to do. Um, my forehead still looks very dark. I promise I'm blending it as much as I can but 
I don't think anything's gonna help so I think we'll just finish with some mascara so yeah as I was saying I am doing a bit of work this holiday just some revision so I don't forget my whole school life because you know um, I'll probably forget it if I don't recap it in the holidays I also don't want to forget like how to play my instruments so I'm gonna try and play a little bit of them every day and also I've got a trumpet exam in November should probably practice for that I've got mascara in my eye whoa this mascara has gone a bit crazy I look like I've got a spider on my eye because of my, these eyelashes they look a bit weird well this is just ruining the whole look isn't it great oh I'm using the Volumize it, collection volumizing mascara. I'm using a lot of collection stuff today, aren't I? I don't watch Love Island. Everyone else does. I think I'm like the only one that doesn't. I just didn't watch it because it started during my year 10 mocks, but um, this didn't seem to affect anyone else and everyone else watched it. And every YouTube video I click on, they just talk about it and I'm like, I have no idea who like Alex is or like, I don't know who anyone is. So yeah, maybe I'll watch, no, I'm not going to watch it next year. I nearly said maybe I'll watch it next year, but that'll be in the middle of my GCSEs. Don't think that'll be a good idea. Okay, I'm going to finish off with some Lip Butter by Nivea. Blueberry Lip Butter, my favourite. I'm getting more hyper as this video progresses on. I'm getting more and more hyper. Maybe I've done just get my hairbrush because wait wait for it guys when I take this off my fringe will be like <sniffs> see that that is a fringe struggle I need to get my hairbrush I would literally love to film a room tour but I'm not so sure because um this is my sister's camera and it's very 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 expensive I don't want to break it because that would not be good so this is the look, it's quite bronzy, glowy, summery. I can finally open my window, I'm so hot. I'll just speak a bit quieter because of the man in his garden. Well, thank you for watching me rambling on for the last half an hour. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I've been such a mess. I'm just not good with makeup and not good with talking. So together, not that good. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye! <laughs>